This is one of the cuttings that we brought with us. You can see its roots looking super good down in there. Massive. The pH and uh, everything has stayed really good for the last couple weeks. So I'm actually going to leave him to continue to grow. And this is his first flower. It's coming really good. Got a huge sucker coming off from this side to give us a second branch. We've got a couple more up here flowers. He's starting to really rock and roll now. He's getting used to it. Today is the 17th of January and I started another third run of pak choy. And these are the Chinese mustard greens. Wind is still blowing really hard and it's really cold. And oh my gosh, the water is down to seven degrees. They hate this. I have no idea if that's going to work or not, but at least they didn't blow away and they do look kind of okay. We'll see what happens today. Here's an update on the tomato house. It is the 21st of January and I moved the hydroponic in here with it because we've been getting really cold in the nights down to like five and six. And look, we have the beginnings of our first tomatoes. The second set of flowers is coming as well. The hydro is exploding over here, looking very good. And we also have the first blooms coming over here. This is the purple tomato. He's got flowers, which is great. Very excited about the tomatoes. Over here, this is the salads and everything like this. Here you can see the bok choy are finally starting to get a little bit bigger, but the Lola Rosa, everything is doing actually really not very good. And this Swiss chard in the back is, it is down there, believe it or not, but it's just super quiet. So I'm reading, I added a lot of carbon with the wood ash. And I was reading last night that carbon will actually using sawdust and any kind of wood product that it's going to rob nitrogen from the soil. So I thought perhaps I don't have any nitrogen for the plant development and that's why everything's not doing so well over there. Could be that the pH of the soil is way off. I really have no idea. Anyway, update on all of these guys. Okay, so we have two pots that we've washed out and I drilled a bunch of holes in this. This one, I don't have anything. So we have a lot of like uncontrolled, but a bunch of holes in the bottom to make sure it can drain properly. The small bucket, we are going to do 75-25 mix with 75 being sawdust, 25% sand. And for the bigger one, because I'm concerned it's going to hold too much water, we're going to do 50-50. So one part sand, one part sawdust. And we're gonna just use the sand we just washed. And this is sawdust. This is almond and acaroba. And it does have some more organic material in it, which I'm not gonna sift it out. We're just gonna go with it. And the watering schedule that we're gonna start with is exactly what the meat lighter system says. It says to feed it one time per week and otherwise just water it a couple times a day. What we're going to do here is I mixed up some uh, tomato nutrients for the guys in the ground that's using the three-part hydroponic nutrient. I'm going to pre-charge all of this stuff with the nutrient. First, we're going to wet everything down really, really well, like saturate it. Then I'm going to pour this on top. It's kind of a heavy mix. This is actually mixed for pre-flower. But I think since this has absolutely nothing in it, I think it's not going to be that big of a deal. The reports that I was reading said that the sawdust was dropping in pH. My idea is I'm going to give it regular water at over 7 pH and I'm going to test the runoff after a couple days and see what happens to it. Here are the transplants that we had in the greenhouse originally and they got chopped down by somebody. They rerooted. I caught them early enough and so now we're going to put them in their new homes. Okay, here's our transplant. We're gonna cut off that bottom leaf set. And now since they root out of their stems, we're gonna get them in there real nice and deep. Yeah, there he is, planted. Now we see what he's gonna do. There we are. They're planted in their homes. The little guy, 
we put him in 7525 is the little guy and then the bigger one that we had is in the 5050. we pretty much gave up on the uh, swiss chard back here because it wasn't doing anything um, and we went ahead and threw these guys in here. It's going to act as a cold frame for them. And I think when it goes minus, we're probably going to pull them out because it's going to be very cold in here. And we're going to leave them in the greenhouse to see how they change. Hopefully this works. I'll be very excited to see.